I'm on the mic. From California, from California Dreaming, The Sudden Epitaph. Oh, your father, your father. Sudden texts and emails and calls from the small army paid to love you. The smart, blonde caseworker, the nice new home attendant, the brain therapist. Oh, your father, they all exclaimed. You know, just the other day, I was cleaning his dentures. We were singing. It brought tears to my eyes. I'd stop by to check on him. I just have to tell you what he told me. Oh, your father. It seems, with your short-term memory gone, you are suddenly proclaiming loud and clear every chance you get what you want on your headstone. <laughs> Proud father, you shout, proud father, as if you get to come back from the dead and hear all the applause for things we did that you dismissed with belittling comments and withering looks as you adored other people's children. One night, millions of minutes before, you told me you kept our heads small and our hearts frightened so you wouldn't become like the ox who grabbed his daughters, your sisters, in places fathers weren't supposed to go. Thank you, I said to you that night. Thank you, I say to all the emails and texts and calls. Thank you. It is all water under the bridge and you are slowly leaving us. So go ahead, go ahead. You earned the right to defy all your failures by writing in stone the only thing you can get away with. No one will question you in California. They all live in Hallmark cards they send on Father's Day. Here's my epitaph for you. The only words carved in stone that I'll remember. They are the ones I heard you crying that terrible year before the Vietnam War ended, before I grew fat with fear and pubic hair, before you met the tall blonde goddess. Months of midnights, bad dreams drowned you. The ox, his shroud tight, thundered another beating on you. Waking, you would rush into our beat-up bathroom, sobbing into a tiny pillow. The Williamsburg Bridge roaring, your desperate attempts to purge every bewildering disappointment your life had become. That year, the beat-up little mailbox in the lobby flooded with small packages stuffed with cassette tapes, filled with the voice of your California sister, desperate to keep you alive, begging you to remember she loved you, begging you to remember you were a good person. Nothing could force the two of you to make an expensive long distance phone call. Instead, you both waited patiently to hear each other's voice in small packages from the Lower East Side or Simi Valley. Hey, Dad. Hey, did you know? Did you know your California sister used to beat her daughter? Thank you.